Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at yet another viewer recommended ISO. This is Windows Avalon. Windows Avalon is a Windows 10 LTSC build that aims to bring back features from various versions of Windows Longhorn. It not only brings those features, but it also brings UI experiences among other things. So basically, this is just Windows 10 that is morphed to look like Windows Longhorn, which I believe we've taken a look at something similar before, but really caught my attention is the ISO size. The ISO size of this build, which is specifically Beta 1 of Avalon, is 7.9 gigabytes. It is a ridiculously large ISO, and that's what prompted me to want to take a look at this, because I'm genuinely curious, what could you possibly put in an ISO to make it 7.9 gigabytes? That is the biggest Windows ISO I've ever seen. I mean, it's getting up there with some older versions of Mac OS when I used to do Hackintosh. I mean, that's pretty crazy of how just big this ISO is. But here we go, we've booted into the out of box installer here. We can see the background is a nice Windows XP Vista 7 logo, as well as this setup is actually themed like Windows Vista or Windows 7. We have the older, you know, the arrow theme blue, as well as the Windows logo and copyright 2007. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Based on the startup logo, I'm gonna guess this is some revision of the Windows 10 startup. And yet again, we can see that arrow theme come through. Obviously in the setup, it's not real arrow, it's fake arrow. Even in real builds of Windows 7 and Vista, it was like that. We're gonna go ahead and click, I don't have a product key because I don't. And we're hopefully gonna to get to the next part where we can select what drives we want to install Windows on. But first, of course, we have to agree to the terms that do identify as Windows Avalon. Custom install on the 60 gig disk. And here we go. We are now installing Windows Avalon. I'm very excited to take a look at this already. All right, and here we are in the desktop of Windows Avalon. The only thing I went ahead and did was I installed VMware Tools just for a better experience. But here we are. And the first thing is there is really a lot of resemblance. I mean, obviously it's Windows Longhorn, but it really looks like a combo of Windows Longhorn and Windows Vista. Right off the bat, I would not be able to tell you this is Windows 10 or any modern version of Windows. So starting by default on the desktop, we have our recycle bin, which does open in a nice arrow looking blue and purple. I really like this theme. It is really nice. Uh, Windows Explorer window. We then have the release notes, which opens up in notepad. And, uh, you know, you can read that if you really want to. Um, over here, we have the sidebar where we can, dra we can drag things off of the sidebar and put them on our desktop, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them back over here for now. The one thing that's really bothering me is that they snap to the very edge and some of them overlap on the edge of the sidebar, um, but I would be curious to know what version, like what software is powering the sidebar. Okay, Windows sidebar. I actually don't know if that's real Windows sidebar or if it's like a modification or a modern version of it. Down here on the taskbar, we have our time reminding us about daylight savings time and that nice blue theme on the bottom. I mean, I can't see the text that's there. I know there's text there, but I can't see it, but I do like the colors. We have our network settings. Again, very nice theme. Sidebar, our USB settings, and then our VMware tools. Over here on the left side of the taskbar, we have Windows Media Player, which does appear to be an older version. Windows Media Player 10, which does look like it would have shipped with Windows XP. Uh, we then have our desktop button, which is just Windows 10, um, which is actually pretty cool. And then we have the show desktop button, which is actually gets rid of the sidebar. In the start menu, we can see that this really resembles Windows Vista. By default, we have Internet Explorer pinned, which does just open Mozilla Firefox in a Internet Explorer theme. We have Windows Mail, which does open, wow, the Windows Live Essentials Mail. Uh, then the Welcome Center for Windows Longhorn, or Windows Avalon, I should say. We then down have Media Player, sorry, Media Center, Media Player, Live Messenger, and Windows Meeting Space. In all programs, this appears to be some sort of, like, it's based on the Ultimate Service Pack, or the Ultimate Edition of Windows, uh, just with all the features we have. I mean, look at all these Windows applications we have on top of, like, the accessibility settings, the entertainment um, small business resources, this is definitely Windows Ultimate. Um, tablet PC settings, games, everybody on this channel should know my favorite game of all time from Windows Vista is Purple Place. Uh, Windows Ease of Access, it's weird seeing a modern icon like Narrator um, right there. Like obviously everything else looks like Windows Vista, Windows 7, and then we have that. Uh, Windows System, we have nothing really out of the ordinary here. Um, if we open Command Prompt, it does identify itself as Windows 10 19044, which I believe is not the latest version of Windows 10. I think it's a version behind, I could lie to you. Um, and the dumpster of mods 
is the organization or the corporation or the group of people who actually made this. Um, so far, I'm actually very impressed here. Let's go ahead and see when we open our computer here. Uh, we have 37.3 gigabytes free of 59.8, which means we are using 22.5 gigs. So it definitely is not a very small version of Windows. I mean, we could tell that from the ISO, um, but it is it's interesting to say the least. Under Task Manager, we can go ahead and see that we're using typical Windows CPU utilization, and on an 8 gig of RAM, we're using 2.2 gigs. So not bad, but not good per se. But given the fact that it's very interesting, I mean, I really like this edition, and if I would, there's obviously some tweaks I would make to it, but I would consider using this as my daily driver because I really do like the simplicity and the colors and the this and the that. Like this color scheme, this blue and purple, is just really cool to me. Let's go and see if we can find a blue and purple wallpaper because that would even seal the deal even more. And look, there's that theme again with the Windows logo. I mean, Microsoft really should have made an OS like this. Uh, there's nothing really blue and purple here, but it, they did bring over quite a few of the older Windows wallpapers that probably were in Longhorn at some point. We run Winver. I'm assuming that there's a customized Winver. Yep, Windows Avalon. We have the orange, the blue, and the purple theme. Very cool. And with that being said, this was just a brief overview of Windows Avalon Beta 1. Again, viewer recommended, not developer recommended, but one of my viewers had actually emailed it to me, and I have to say I'm very impressed. This is a very neat ISO that I really enjoyed taking a look at. It is quite honestly amazing that people were able to do stuff like this. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.